It takes a lot of skill and expertise to make an opponent submit in record time. Only the best grapplers are able to spot the wrong moves of their rivals and then take advantage of it to effect a submission. This is more reason why these top 10 fastest submissions in MMA history deserve some accolades. Ensure you stick around and catch all the action. Number 10. Dennis Holman vs Matt Hughes In December 2000, Dennis Holman pulled off one of the best UFC debuts in the history of the sport. Holman defeated the welterweight giant in 20 seconds via an armbar. This was the second time the pair were meeting, and also Hughes' second loss to Holman. Got him in an armbar! Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! How does that happen? Holman has other submission victories to his record. The Superman retired from fighting at KOTC and held a record of 53 wins, 20 losses, 2 draws, and 1 no contest. Holman also made quick work of John McDessie at UFC 140 by earning a first round submission victory. The ref halted the action at the 258 mark. On the other hand, his opponent Matt Hughes is also one of the most established fighters of all time. Over the course of his mixed martial arts career, Hughes has fought an amazing 53 times, winning 45 of them. Hughes has some impressive submission victories over fighters like Ricardo Alameda, Frank Trigg, and Joe Riggs. Number 9. Don Fry vs Mark Hall It was the semi-finals of the Ultimate Ultimate 1996, and Don Fry was scheduled to fight with Kimo Lopoldo. However, Lopoldo had to step down due to fatigue and dehydration. Mark Hall then came in as a replacement. This was going to be their second time meeting, and compared to the first bout that went the distance, Fry used an Achilles lock to submit Hall in just 20 seconds. With Hall out of the way, Fry won the Ultimate Ultimate 1996 by defeating Tank Abbott. Fry was one of the few fighters in early UFC days that could brawl, wrestle, and perform solid submissions. This always gave him the upper hand. If you're enjoying this content and want to see more videos like this, drop a comment and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Number 8. Chas Scali vs Maximo Blanco Scali began the featherweight bout by attacking immediately the second the referee gave the signal. Blanco, who seemed to be caught off guard, attempted to deliver a kick. Scali evaded the kick and put Blanco down with his own leaping kick. With Blanco on the canvas, Scali followed up with a Darcy choke. Herb Dean came to confirm that Blanco had been put to sleep before declaring Scali as the winner. The fight was over in 19 seconds. Chaz the Scrapper Scali most recently fought Mark Striegel at UFC Fight Night on Saturday, February 19, 2022. Chas Scali has 19 wins with a 74% finish rate, including 4 by knockouts, 10 by submission, and 5 by decision. Number 7. Dave Vickay vs Jesse Peterson Dave Vickay pulled a mind-blowing submission at Bellator 93 when he fought against Jesse Peterson. Vickay rushed in with a body kick and then followed it up with two knees to the head. Jesse got caught up in the guillotine, and although it doesn't appear that he taps out, he definitely goes out. Dave Vickay became the winner by a no-tap submission to guillotine at 18 seconds in round 1. Number 6. Terry Edom vs Edward Falalato Terry Edom faced off against Edward Falalato at UFC 138 in 2011. Edom made the fight look super easy by submitting Falalato in 17 seconds. The UFC star came out with kicks and punches before Falalato dove in for a takedown attempt. Edom took advantage of this takedown attempt to lock Edward in a guillotine choke and quickly got the tap. With this win, Terry Edom increased his MMA victory to 15. Beast is outstanding! That's it! That's it! Adam's last fight was in Bellator 109 against Patrick Chernobyl in November 23, 2013. Terry Adam has 16 wins with an 88% finish rate, including 2 by knockout, 12 by submission, and 2 by decision. Number 5. Frank Shamrock vs Kevin Jackson This matchup came after Shamrock had competed for 3 years in Pancras. Frank Shamrock defeated the Olympic gold medalist Kevin Jackson at UFC 155 in 1997. 
The pair were both contending for the UFC middleweight championship belt. Jackson was the first to take down Shamrock, but applied an armbar out of nowhere and forced Jackson to submit. The legend won the title and became the first ever UFC middleweight champion. Number 4. Joe Charles vs Kevin Rosier Joe Charles made his debut into MMA at the UFC 4 in 1994. It was an epic debut where the Ghetto Man defeated Kevin Rosier in 14 seconds using an armbar. This move left the fans in awe. Although Charles came into the promotion at the age of 36, he was able to finish off impressively. He had a total of 6 wins and 13 losses as an ordinary fighter. Before Charles retired from MMA, he had a record of 6 wins, 3 of which came by submission. Number 3. Justin Martin vs Eric Martin Justin Martin faced off against Eric Martin at the UFC 12 in 1997. For Eric, it was his first fight on a professional level. Eric lost to Justin by tapping out on a heel hook submission in just 14 seconds. This fight also turned out to be Eric's last professional fight of his career. Number 2. Aviv Ghazali's heel hook on Edward Mravitsky Ghazali has always had a penchant for stunningly quick submissions. At Bellator 225, Aviv Ghazali displayed his submission game with an 11 second heel hook victory over the much more experienced fighter Edward Muravitsky. The Israeli fighter snatched Muravitsky's left leg. While holding on to the limb, Ghazali expertly forced Muravitsky to tap to his heel hook submission in just 11 seconds, making it the fastest submission in Bellator history. It's heel hook. There it is. This heel hook victory was nominated for Submission of the Year in the 12th Annual World MMA Awards. Fans have argued that this submission win was completely rehearsed. An exclusive clip was also released to that effect, showing Ghazali setting this up, training it and rehearsing it backstage with his father, the 46 year old 4th degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, Haim Ghazali. Number 1. Oleg Taktarov vs Anthony Marcias Oleg Taktarov has one of the fastest submissions in the history of mixed martial arts. Taktarov defeated Anthony Marcias in just 9 seconds at UFC 6. The UFC star used a guillotine to force Marcias to tap out. Oh, here's a choke right now. Oh, oh, a got a choke. Oh, it. Tap out. Most fans weren't too pleased with the fight as they believed it was fixed. The two fighters had the same manager, Buddy Albin, and Albin elected to stand in Taktarov's corner. Another reason why this might have been a stage fight is the fact that Marcias didn't even make any move to use his Muay Thai skills. All he simply did was give the Russian his neck. Which one of these submissions impressed you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.